Vindicta and Gorvek done very simply. I am an Iron Man, so my best setup is melee. I'm running a Bandos helmet as well as Bandos chest piece with Enhanced Devoted 2. On top of that, I'm running Amulet of Glory, Fire Cape. For my weapon, I'm using an Elder Rune 2 8 Sword plus 5, and I have Elder Rune Gauntlets, Boots, and Trousers. I'm using the Armor Spikes, which add a little bit of extra damage, which is kind of negligible. And I'm using the Warrior Ring as well as the Zarot's Insignia, which doesn't actually do anything, it's just for the outside bit. Now, this is a perfect boss for you to learn how to shield swap for resonance. So bring a shield that you can switch into and resonance specific attacks to save a ton of food. Other than that, just bring a couple of prayer potions as well as some buff potions, with the rest of your inventory just being food. You start the fight by praying melee and counting the boss's auto attacks. Here's auto attack number one. Auto attack number 2, after which you switch to your shield and resonance for the big whirlwind. Switch back to your weapon and come to more auto attacks. Here's auto attack number 1, followed by a very long pause, and then auto attack number 2. After the second auto attack, you want to pray mage and move. This is to avoid the dragon fire and to reduce any potential damage you can take from it. Switch back to pray melee and count 3 more auto attacks. That was auto attack number 2. Auto attack number 3, at which point you can enhance Devote it to reduce the damage from the next whirlwind. Now we get two more auto attacks once again. Here is auto attack number 1, followed by a very long pause. Auto attack number 2, smack, frame mage, move. And that is it for phase 1. You're gonna be doing this until the boss hits 50%. Once Vindicta hits 50%, it will mount Gorvek and the rotation changes. You get one melee attack, followed by one ranged attack, which you can resonance every other rotation, one more melee attack, and then they fly away and spew out Dragonfire. I would highly recommend you turn off your auto-retaliate so you don't run towards the boss and instead move to the side. And then it just repeats, so pray melee for the first hit, pray ranged for the second hit, back to praying melee for the third hit, and then it's time for Dragonfire again. The cool thing about this boss is that it's timed very specifically. It allows you to resonance the big hits with every other rotation. This saves an incredible amount of food and can sometimes allow you to kill the boss without using any food at all. Especially if you have devotion and you save up enough adrenaline for it so that you can devote the big hits whenever you don't have resonance. Now, while the boss is very simple, things can and will go wrong. This is why the most important thing for this boss is to just keep your cool. So whenever the animations get bit wonky or the dragon fire is all over the place and you have nowhere to move, you just need to chill out. Like for example, in this rotation I put my shield on a little bit too late and I take the full damage of the ranged attack without resonance and it actually got much worse from there because you see I'm a cocky idiot so I didn't want to heal to lose my adrenaline, I didn't have devotion or resonance for the next ranged attack so I just had to eat it through my prayer which almost killed me. And then when I finally decided to heal up, the boss lands in the worst spot possible for the dragon fire, so I had to run through it. However, since I kept my cool and didn't panic, I was able to kill the boss while using very little food. Your first few kills are probably not gonna be great. You're gonna fumble about, you're gonna move to the wrong spot, you're gonna mess up your prayer switching, your shield switching for resonance, but if you keep at it and you do it a few times, you will eventually get comfortable and you will realize that the boss it's not all that hard. And that is pretty much it for the video. So I thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful. I wish you good luck with Vindicta and Gorvek. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.